hello and welcome to my china a china where we make structural engineering design simple and easy my name is olodu konyedi and i'm your host i want to say a very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our china to those who have been sending messages we really really appreciate you and I'm glad to say our Prota Structure online course is out. And we will be putting out the link on the description. We'll be putting out the links on the description. We want to appreciate everyone who has subscribed to our channel and those who are yet to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button now so we got a lot of questions from our, our subscriber we have one from martins awunusi martins awunusi you didn't tell us where you are commenting from please just tell us where you are commenting from you said to determine the pi diameter to use you refer a table with pi diameters and equivalent strength that's what i mean that table uh, martins i've said it before and i'll say it again that table was gotten by the soy um, geotechnical engineer the person that was sent for the soy test did that and with the capacity of the the bearing capacity of your soy that will determine the size and the strength of the pie to be used i put out i think check our other videos that um reference table i put is gotten from one of our sites so but no two sites will be the same no two sites will be the same please just request from your um, soy test engineer your soy geotech engineer he will be able to provide those um, um, tables or reference for you thank you very much but if not please still let us know if we answer that question or not we have um mustafa el boradi you said thank you vj pushkanma from india india you you said thank you so much i appreciate you vj and also some of our russia subscriber please tell us or translate what you are saying we will really appreciate that thank you and today we got um one of our subscribers sami said how do we solve section insufficient section insufficient yes we will be answering that question today we will be answering it today and also we have Enei Daniel from Ogun he said good day sir very good explanation I'm Daniel from Ogun State what if the deflection checks fail how can we rectify it same question Daniel is asking is what Sami has already asked so we will be discussing about that today we'll be discussing how to rectify deflection check failure or section is sufficient both of them are the same if you have a deflection check failure it means your section thickness is not enough and um, structural phase in two ways either the either the section is not enough or the reinforcement provided is not enough so we will see how 
to solve that and if you look at our prota structure we have a a model on our, our on our desktop here our um, interface here if you've molded your work how do you know there's a deflection if you take this strip and you cut your section you cut your section hold down your control key so that it will be straight if you hold down your control key and you are getting this and you are having this it shows that your your slab thickness is not enough your slab thickness is not enough if your slab thickness is not enough then this is what you should do two things that you can do one either the slab is the, the the span of the slab is too big too big that's one or two the the thickness of that slab is insufficient so you can solve this in two ways i say okay you say okay you can either solve this by increasing our slab thickness from 150 we change it to 175 and you say update you say okay close and run your analysis all over if you've changed it then you need to run your analysis over run your analysis so we run our analysis we say okay we let it run okay we finish running the analysis we say okay we close and apply good so we we'll come back here and do the same thing it's still showing insufficient so the next thing we need to do because we've, we've increased to 75 and it's still failing it's still failing so what we will do what we need to do is either we break the span that's the next thing we need to do we need to break the span yes please check how we create in our other videos we will not be explaining all this please go through our other videos to see how we created um, models and its other um, issues we will not be taking everything from scratch please go back to our former videos where it was explained in detail it was explained in detail please check i will say okay allow it to run and okay close and we run now pick your stuff and if you look at it now it runs perfectly no more issues so if you've increased the if you've increased the slab and the thing is still failing please go and break that slab it is too big make it a bit smaller but please pay attention if you want if the beam is the one giving it should come to um, concrete design slab you say okay let's assume this is giving us hmm. 
if we want to increase let's assume this cantilever we want to increase this depth of our beam where we we'll go to is beam you see this part which is four 450 we can change it to 600 and you say interactive you say okay you close and we say okay okay so if you look at it it have changed to 2y and um, 230 by 600 and why this thing is giving us this issue is before we get to this part we should have come to building analysis and run the analysis for that program we should run the analysis that's what i just wanted to show us how to increase the depth of our beam so we'll come here since this thing is showing you x you run the analysis so if you run the analysis this is what it will show to you this is what it will show to you give it some time to run the analysis give it some time to run the analysis that is what it will show to you yeah complete close come back here run it so you see that issue is gone but this is still our debt we've increased it from 450 to 600 so with this if you're having insufficient um, section you can either increase it in the beam this is how you increase in the beam or you come to your your slab and increase it so this is how you solve when there's a deflection check failure or when there's a section insufficient this is how you solve that problem i hope that answers your question but if you still have any other question please feel free to send your comment and we we answer it those who are yet to subscribe to our channel please hit that subscribe button that is the only way you are encouraging us to put up more videos so we will stop here today remain blessed thanks